Okay, so we have talked about lymph nodes. Let's talk about the adaptive immune system now. Adaptive immune system has two components, humoral immunity, which is mediated by soluble antibody proteins, which are produced by B cells or B lymphocytes that can kill and neutralize pathogens. So when antibodies bind pathogens, they can inactivate them or they can recruit other cells which will help destroy the fending agent. Cellular immunity, which is mediated by T cells, which target cells which have been infected by pathogens. So there are two types of infectious agents that can either live outside the cell in our body. Most bacteria live outside our cells. Other cells, other pathogens, they can live inside the cell. So if a pathogen is hiding inside a cell, how can immune system access it? Well, we will see how cells are able to, immune cells are able to recognize cells that have been infected by a pathogen, intracellular pathogen, and can mount a response against those cells. So for now, we will just say that B cells can produce antibodies which can bind toxic material or pathogens and cause an inactivation directly or recruit other elements of immune system and neutralize them. T cells, on the other hand, can go and destroy cells that have become infected by viruses or other pathogens. The B cells and T cells, they look very similar. Even under electron microscope, it is hard to determine whether a cell which has not fully developed yet, a precursor cell, whether it is going to form a B cell or a T cell. Here on the screen, you can see electron micrograph of a cell which could either develop into B cell or T cell. Although this cell may have made the decision at a molecular level that what it is going to be, whether it's going to be a B cell or a T cell, but physically there, even under a microscope, it, both these cells look very similar. However, when these cells develop, when they become mature, they look very different. They have a very different appearance. Here, for example, are two micrographs. You can see here is the B cell. Remember, I told you cells that secrete have abundant rough endoplasmic reticulum. And you can see all these squiggly lines are basically the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So they are used to, we know that rough endoplasmic reticulum are used to dock ribosomes and which ultimately produce the protein that gets injected into the lumen of ER and gets exported. Here are the T cells. These are the affected T cells. These T cells are mature and now they can either regulate other immune cells or they can destroy the body cells which have been infected by a virus. The mature B cells are also referred to as the plasma cells. So only after these cells mature, we are able to distinguish them. All adaptive immune responses have to be activated by innate immune responses. I'll show you that innate immune responses, activation of phagocytic cells that have receptors that have affinity for pathogen associated molecules. These special receptors I mentioned earlier also, very primitive. These receptors are primitive evolutionarily and these are called the toll receptors. These phagocytic cells, innate immune system, phagocytic cells have these toll receptors and they get activated when a pathogen binds them. When innate immune cells are activated, which also include, for example, the dendritic cells, these are also part of innate immune system. When they are activated, they can activate the adaptive immune system. Adaptive immune response is very, very specific. I've already mentioned that versus the innate immune, which is going to get activated by any type of pathogen. There are about two to the 10 raised power 12 lymphocytes in human body. It is very important that we, are, we have the ability to defend ourselves against pathogens. Otherwise, it would be very hard for organisms to survive without having forces to defend their territory. This amount of cell is roughly equal to the number of cells in liver or brain. So this is how big our immune system is, which, is, which has the sole purpose 
of defending us against pathogens. Innate immune system is activated at site of infection. Adaptive immune system is activated in the peripheral lymphoid organs, for example, the lymph node. So after innate immune system has been activated, some, some components of it, for example, T, some T cells will go and visit the site of infection. Otherwise, innate adaptive immune cells don't get activated at the site of infection. Another important responsibility of adaptive immune cells is that they can distinguish self from non-self. We will see how, what is the mechanism of that. And these adaptive immune cells also have a memory. So if a pathogen has infected an organism once, the immune system will remember. Immune system has a memory, sort of like our brain has a memory. It will remember and it, the second time around when the pathogen comes, it will be able to launch a more robust response to that particular pathogen. You can imagine the purpose of this army that we have in our bodies is to defend us. So if for some reason our army turns against our own cells, it can be very, it can cause very debilitating diseases. Substances that can activate immune system adaptive immune system are also called antigens. Even if antigens are slightly different, they can activate different types of immune cells. So how do we know that adaptive immune cells are these B cells and T cells basically are responsible for adaptive immune responses? A simple experiment, rat in this case was radiated to kill most of their white blood cells which include the lymphocytes. These rats were unable to mount an adaptive immune response. When these rats were supplemented with different type of cells to see what type of cell will restore the function of adaptive immune response, it, was, it turned out that only lymphocytes are the cells that can restore the function, the, restore the adaptive immune response of these irradiated rats. Okay, so these cells, adaptive immune cells, are responsible for mounting adaptive immune responses. And these adaptive immune responses also have to be very regulated because turning our army turning against ourselves can, as I mentioned, can be disastrous for that particular organism.